emotionally, so first, uh, you cannot believe, I, I could not believe that it's a pterosaur. And same happened with another bone. I tried to identify and my brain could not accept that it's part of pterosaur, so I, I, I tried to find answers in other groups, like a large dinosaur or something. So my brain could not accept in the first place that it's from a, a pterosaur. Facing this gigantic neck vertebra, we couldn't identify it, you know. Of course, we knew that must be a pterosaur vertebra, but we just couldn't realize in our brains, you know. So we sat there, but what is it? You know, it's a dinosaur bone, is it a mammal bone, is it dated wrong or whatever. And then slowly, you know, the, we realized, hey, this must be a pterosaur, a gigantic, unique pterosaur. And, you know, we just freaked out. He said, wow, unbelievable. <laughs> It was actually quite dangerous, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very steep exposure of rock, and uh, the layer where we found the bones is in a, in a height of about 80 meters. Hey. And the whole exposure is about 120 meters high, so you have to take ropes, you know, hey, get down from the, from the top, you know, and, and then about 80 meters over the ground, you know, you start hammering, you know, in that, in that steep rock, hey, and that's pretty dangerous.